615 is your time. This segment is sponsored by Animal Medical Clinic and Dr. Bob Rich is here this morning and I, I feel like I'm just going to sit here and get a public scolding because oh. we're talking about pet dental health. That's right. We talked about it in February uh -huh. with Putter. Now we're talking about it in July. And Putter I, needs to get I still in. Haven't brought and I got a heck of a deal for you today. Okay. Hundred bucks off. All right. Oh, oh well. <laughs> well, he has that tighter than... than and take a bite out of your budget. Uh, Not exactly. this month. Yes. Well, what's the importance of pet dental health? Pet dental health is where a lot of diseases originate. Heart disease, kidney disease all come from bad teeth and people think it's all just bad breath and their dogs and cats. But actually, if you take care of the teeth, you'll add years to the end of their lives. Okay, and you're, I mean, years, not just yes, a few yes. months. Yes, instead or... of your dog living to be 12, it'll live to be 15. Okay. I mean, it, those years are precious in older pets. We all know, like with Putter getting yeah. older and the like, that you want to keep them around as long as possible. And so our give back to the community is in August, we just take $100 off every dental okay and it covers a, a complete physical a complete blood analysis cleaning polishing the teeth it's it's the right thing to do and most pets once they get past seven need it done about every two or three years okay so something not every like six months like humans should no be doing. no no about every about every two years explain the process then this isn't just a basically we, we do a complete blood uh, workup assess the organ function and then give a general anesthetic unlike you or i would go to the mm -hmm. dentist uh, a general anesthetic under monitoring, and uh, we clean the teeth and we polish the teeth so the tartar doesn't come back. Then we counsel you on maybe you need to feed a little more kibble and less canned food or, or find some legitimate chew toys, that type of thing, but it prevents a lot of disease down the road. Most of the heart disease that we see in valve problems in the heart is from bad teeth. Wow. Yeah. As a veterinarian, how often do you see problems in the teeth, or what's the most? If, if I looked at um, a hundred dogs over seven years old this week, um, sixty percent would need a dental. Wow! And of that, twenty percent probably get the dental. Oh, and it's okay. just people don't realize you open that mouth and it's it's horrible in there sometimes. Sometimes the only thing holding the teeth in is the tartar, and people don't realize that. But imagine having that infection in your system all the time. And that's the reason we run into chronic kidney disease from it and valvular problems in the heart. Gotcha. And so this goes during the month of August. All through August. So all give August. us a call. I feel like a huckster. Save 100 bucks. <laughs> I feel like I want to get that 100 out of that, I'm that, that implant, the <laughs> but I can't. So, Dr. Rich, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you. And this segment is sponsored by Animal Medical Clinic. We'll be back with more KGB this morning after this. I'll try again.